Hello everybody, my name is State Gaming. Welcome back to Minecraft Transit Rail. I'll be showing you how to make an elevator today because they function once more. Let me show you. Here we have one of the elevators in the Sassy Station, which last time would not work. I have tried updating the mod to a more recent version. Now it doesn't contain everything I would like, but still, the elevators function. As you can see when I hover over it, it gets highlighted. Once I right click it, it does of course select, but that worked last time. The elevator, of course, still does function, and the doors open, which is very exciting for me. And I can finally make this tutorial of how to make an elevator, which is actually pretty simple. Now let's get started with our tutorial. Now, for this tutorial, I'll make use of this section of our little test build station. I'm just going to make a little hole here just so I can have quick access. So let's say you want, example, to have like a second floor in your little station. So just gonna like we're gonna, just gonna make a little second floor just temporarily, and you want to use an elevator to get there. I'll be showing you how to make a elevator in this tutorial. Let's get started. Now you want to be in the rail, the yeah, sorry, escalators and lifts elevators menu, and to start, you're gonna need the you're gonna need the item. You're gonna need both tracks, and depending on how big you want to make the elevator. I'm going to make a 2x2 two two elevator, so we're going to get the even panels. Uh, we're going to get the, e sorry, the even doors and this first even panel. And I'll get the other one just to show you why. Of course, you're going to get the buttons and the link connector. Now, these two panels are different. Are different. The first one is a lot thicker. The second one's a lot thinner. The second one's supposed to be used for placing on top of a wall because it doesn't protrude that much. But the first one is supposed to be placed on top of doors, as it matches the correct thickness. The thin one just looks, just, it looks off. So that's why you want to use this one. You also want the refresher. So this is what your hotbar should look like. You don't need the brush, but I, I recommend the brush for this tutorial. Now to get started, you want to start, you want to make a, in a, a casing. Just something, some sort of structure to hold the elevator. So I will just set this to white concrete. That's not right. Oh, wow. There we go. Just white concrete, because that's our walls, in case you forgot. Also set this while we're here. And what you want to do is, well, what you're going to want to do is just make it so it goes at least one block above where you want the floor. That's, the, that's your only requirement. You just need to be one block above where you want the floor. That's that's it. Make sure also dig out a small little hole at the bottom where the elevator can go. This is just so you know that this is just where the elevator will be going and so it doesn't clip in with weird collisions. Again, you don't have to exactly follow this tutorial. This is just if you want to do it exactly how I do it. This is all of course optional. Let me get my refresher again. So to get started. Depending on how you want to do this, again, all of this is of how you want to do your elevator. This is all, what I, everything I'm doing here is completely optional. I, would like, I just want to remind you guys that. So you're going you're gonna to choose a side where you want to put your rails. I like to be in the back. And you're going to put the floor rail where, you, where the floors are. So at the feet of the floor. This rail is right, is, oop, this rail is on this floor. And this rails on this floor. You can have as many floors as you like, but two is the minimum. And then you're going to connect them with the regular track. So the floor track is for the floors. The normal track is to connect the two tracks. And there you go. That's your track. You can get rid of these items. Next, I recommend placing either the, the doors, the panel, and of course the button. You need the button. So just make a little wall like this. You don't, Again, you don't have to do this. Then place the button. I recommend placing the doors last because they can get in the way. Doors. Panel. Oh, wrong button. Panel, there we go. And, of course, I need to get rid of something. So we'll get rid of these two banners. And there's our buttons. Get rid of the door. So now that you've done that, you need, now you need the linker, the link connector. What you're going to do is right-click on either the buttons or the panel, and right-click on the floor track. 
you can see a little bit you can see a little white wire coming from it this only appears of course when you're holding the link connector or the buttons or the panel next of course right click the panel and the floor track now as you can see that currently did not work and if that happens just do it again do the process again until it connects it might take multiple tries it depends which panel it is sometimes just experiment until it works for you Again, buttons connect Panel, connect, you should be good. You don't need this anymore, or this, or this. Next, you need the ref the lift elevator refresher. Since you're here, you can place them doors at the bottom. Just right click any of the floor tracks, and it will spawn in the elevator. Now, as you can see, it's not in the right spot. So right click the thing again, and you can change the offset so it's correct where it's, so it's where you want it. You can also rotate it and make it double-sided if you would please. And there you go. Now your elevator has spawned, and once it spawns, you should the, the buttons and the panel both work, and you can hop in and func and let it function. Now before you stop, you can use the brush to right-click on any of the floor tracks and change the floor number. So you can make it play the ding sound, or you can also set a little description, which will um which will alternate between the floor number on the little panels. And I can't spell floor. You can do that. Of course, you can do this one too. New one, first floor, and you can play the ding sound. Now you can test it out by either hopping into the elevator, pressing Z, and then you can click on this icon on the right. You can hover over any of them and click the icon on the right to select it. The door should close, and you should be on your way. And as you can see this time, I am stupid and I forgot, and I placed them one block ahead. This is obviously extremely fixable if you have World Edit. And please install World Edit if you don't. I, rec I use World Edit for most of these tutorials. So I can just do slash slash move. It will move it. It's still connected. And then just grab my little and a site. One, two. And then place, place my door. Now obviously it won't immediately register that it's open. But once you go back to the floor, it will, as you can see, it's having a seizure. But now when you go back it will find out that there's an that there's doors. And there you go. That's how you make an elevator in the Minecraft Transit Railway. You can decorate however you please. You can add some glass. And once you're done decorating your beautiful elevator, you have done it. You've made a complete elevator with the Minecraft Transit Railway mod. You can add some glass outside, fill in the walls, make it however you please. Hope you enjoyed today's. This was just a quick tutorial how to teach you how to make elevators with Minecraft Transit Railway. I hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you later.